Just got back from a walk with the dogs and to the mailbox. Let's put back some fidgets. Of course, I got my raft with me. Of course, I've got my Thunderdome V3 with me. Got this weird thing where as I'm putting things away, I wouldn't call it weird, my wife just brought it to my attention. I, I fidget with everything before I put it back. <laughs> Mainly so I can make sure it's, I know it's condition and it's fine before I put it away for X amount of time. Got the Axis Micro Mini. Just put a new bearing in this the other day. This is a hybrid ceramic from Acer Racing. It's got a cool sound. Not a whole lot of feedback, but a unique noise. Oh yeah, this was the 42 Cosmo TK-EDC Owl Slider. Made in titanium. It's the Black Cat Black Hole and Fine Superconductor with a reverse etch. Awesome, awesome hat Bitcoin. What else I got in here? HD-17 Torque Bar Mini. It's a Tungsten Alloy Mallory 3000. It's got all kinds of names. It's kind of weird, but... Got the bearing that it came with. Sounds awesome. I love this thing. I think that's uh I think that's all of it. Yep. Alright. The whole point of this video is uh Melanie sent me some stuff to check out from EDC Fidget. Close my case. <laughs> I'm gonna put AirPods in because I know that I'm gonna be messing with an NJT coin that's in here and I know it is going to be too loud for me. So I'm getting prepared. Oh no. Showed the address, I'll have to blur it. Can do that later. Cut it out or something. This is a lot of stuff. I don't remember there being this much. We'll see. Alright. Start over here. This is the top D from uh, Metal Toys DZ. I've been thinking about getting one of these. I just, uh, it's so different from anything else out there. I was unsure, so I was just kind of asking Melanie's opinion on it. Because, uh, you know, I've seen her video. And she just said, here, I'll send it to you. And that's what led to all of these other things <laughs> finding their way to me. All this other stuff. I have, uh, yeah, more of, it can be more of a surprise. Melanie, your packaging has gotten incredible. This is, a, this is difficult. All right, I'm gonna actually open everything this time before I start fidgeting. What kind of tape is this? I'm curious, it's really, uh, it's thick. It's a very, uh, almost like a plastic feeling tape and not a thin film. It's good stuff. Being very careful not to cut too deep. I would, man, cutting someone else's fidgets would be like the worst thing ever. Oh. This is the AC EDC Pico Pick. A little fidget there. What is this? I have no idea what this is. Oh, this is the NJT coin. This looks weird through the bubble wrap. Zerky's high. I was gonna buy her Makume coin. And then she decided to keep it. And I absolutely don't blame her. Very cool coin. Here's one of these, uh, I guess, no-name coins from the, like old friend store or something on AliExpress. In her video, I think this is one of the ones that she said was pretty good. Get to that in a minute. And this is another one of those. I like the cat one she said was her favorite. The one I've already got out there. The packaging is a mystery. Each one's different. <laughs> it's, it's actually really fun. And 
the Zirconium Uno tactiles from Fidget Things. This one I did remember. Just sent me a picture of all these laid out before sending them out. So I kind of knew. So there aren't actually any surprises in here. As I get them all out, I remember seeing them now. I'm curious about these guys, because I've only ever messed with like free floating sliders that are, you know, a stack of two. So let's uh, I'll start there. Get these coins up out of the way, out to the side. So, a little sticky. Kind of like the muted sound of them. It's a really big two click. Okay, do they work in like a three stack? Oh, this one's got the magnets jumping around. Magnet strength is definitely good. Very strong. Not very strong, strong enough, I should say. This one's a little weaker than this one, I think. Yep. Actually, this one ladders better and functions better too. I've never used this thing before and I'm just firing it around. It's pretty cool. Huh. Surprising. It does really nice. These are a little slower in their action. There you go, see them there. It's hanging up on me. Just a little bit weaker magnets and interesting. I wonder why this one fires so much better. Do they work as a three stack? <laughs> All these reverse polarities going on. I don't know. I've never messed with anything like this, so this is kind of, this is new. That's, I don't think that's an ideal move. <laughs> kind of cool, being able to stack them like that. And they don't flip, yeah, no flipping. So it's not like the Compoform V2s, something I've still yet to try to. It's kind of neat though, being able to play with the models together like this. Total freeform, a lot of ways. All right, moving on. Let's go to the ACEDC Pico pick. It's a triangular happy coin. Huh, that's pretty cool actually. It has a pretty weak action. I bet if I, I don't remember how this thing comes apart. I don't wanna do that on video. I wonder if I could tighten it up and make it a little snappier somehow. These mechanical coins are pretty modifiable. I think this is mechanical. It might even be magnets, I don't even know. Can I peek in it? Yeah, I don't wanna dig in without things going, going all over the place in single video. That's pretty cool, I like it. And it's really not that, uh, it's not that loud, which is, you know, great for me. I like the triangle, it's pretty cool. The size is good. Totally dig that. All right, let's go to these coins. Huh. Dang. <laughs> this has no business being this good. It's so snappy. So I guess this is the one that's kind of like the, uh, yeah, donut. So we've got seven positions. We've got a big bearing. This is awesome. <laughs> oh, man. This is another one of those that I hate that I love it. This is very well done. I have no idea what it says on it. But man, seven clicks. Strong magnets. This is, that's a really good coin. <laughs> I'm surprised. This has a little more slot between it. It's not bad. And man, this one's loud. Compared. This one's a little more muted. They have a similar tone. I mean, go figure. They're like the same, same body. This one's a little jumpier. Let's see what we got going on inside. Yeah, this one's just like a, a milk lid or something. It's got the central magnet post, not a bearing. Ones with the bearings are seems to be like the my favorite coins for sure. This one's way too loud. Not uh not for me. It's uh the action's good, but it's it's a milk lid. Pretty much is what it feels like. I've never handled a donut before, so. 
this is my first experience with a uh, seven magnet, seven position haptic coin with the big bearing. You know, I've had the, the black hole and the NJT coins, you know, so I know how those feel. This NJT coin got my noise canceling on because I knew it was going to be loud. Pretty good. Pretty good uh, grip, I suppose. I don't necessarily love this, uh, this pattern. I know these things usually line up. Maybe right there. No, not there. Maybe it was back there. I love the side pattern though. Very snappy, but uh, too loud for my ears. If I had to pick one over the other, and the two I've experienced, the Makumbe one for sure. This one is easier to manipulate, even though it feels just as snappy. Uh, it's got a little more grip with this uh, worry stone finish. And I will say, I've seen a lot of pictures of these. I've seen all of Kev's videos at Lefty EDC. I've seen Melanie's videos. This looks better in person than it does on camera. There's um, more color, more texture, more contrast than what I can see on video and on pictures. So it's definitely better than expected. But very, very loud. Very snappy. All right, on to the top D, what started this whole thing. I think this one's copper and stainless. All right, so this is the track side and the pivot side. I'm assuming if it's like other things, it works best with the uh, track side up. Or sorry, track side down, post side up. This one I gotta really think about because it's uh oh what are we hanging up there? Interesting. It's got a very unique action. So there's just two detent balls on each side that keep it in place. And clearly the post is yeah, it's slotted, so it can't come out this way. So I mean, it just pivots when it's on the ends. Definitely, it's a little bit of an awkward motion. I've seen people do it in videos smoothly, but I think my hands are just really just too small. So Melanie, thank you for letting me try this, because Man, if I would have bought one, I would probably be just selling it right away. <laughs> yeah, it's just, uh, it's too, too, too long. And I have, I have to spread my hand out too much and it just doesn't quite, I can't quite do the things I want to, want to do with it. All right, I'm going to go back through these again. Mess with everything. Top D is not for me. Tactiles. All right, let's see. Let's pair them back up. Whoa. I think this one's just been used more. Probably all it is. These are pretty good for a three by two. I think their price point is on the, the lower end as well, if I remember correctly. Oh, well, now this one's hanging up on me a little bit. Or is it just that one side? I don't know. Not that worried about it. This is a good slider. Got a good sound. It's not shrill. Ooh. Yeah, these are cool. I'm playing with them like this, this is one of those things that I'm gonna have to give it time. Figure out the moves. It's just so organic, so free flow. definitely a big extension just going up 
with three of them. There's no way I could do anything with going up all the way with four. That's just retarded. <laughs> the Pico pick. I really want to take this thing apart and see if it's adjustable. It's pretty unique, though. I mean, I get that it looks like a guitar pick. Not really. It's not my thing, but... Pico pick lies rock. Why does it say lies rock? That doesn't, what does that even mean? Pretty cool. I like it. I wonder, wonder if they make it in zerk and copper. That would be really cool. NJT coin. It's a good, it's a good coin. It's really snappy. Tone is more high pitched than I prefer. And volume level is higher than I prefer. But those are two very subjective things. I think if you like noise and you like the more high-pitched tones, this is, this is pretty dang good. Really, really nice. This is a really cheap milk load with cool engraving. Oh, I didn't even look at this side. I've seen this little dude before, but I forget what he's called. Not bad at all. This one is actually... I'm blown away by how good this is. That's what I'll say. It has no business being this good. I'm actually, I'm cracking up and actually smiling using this one. It's so snappy. It's really, really loud. So I don't think I could, maybe, I don't think I could keep it in my collection. I would have to use it in a softer, ah, yeah, I don't know use it in a softer way because it's really it's pretty loud too it's really really strong magnets really snappy i gotta have something that's uh easier on the ears yeah just sitting here turn let's see turn that noise canceling off yeah that's easy on my ears yeah, when i make this one snap it's snappy man all right Melanie, thank you. I'm gonna wrap it up here. See ya.